All right, so basically this is what we've got. <clears throat> You've got sort of the finished product here, and so you can see where the, the, the line for the, um, where the stripping goes. And <clears throat> everything now is um, basically in place. I've done a, a, another, um, another barrier, if you will, okay? So that way, <clears throat> this tape is so strong and the adhesive is so... I know, look, I know water can get caught here. You know, I know that. But <clears throat> the bottom line is, is that with a dome roof, the water, it, yeah, it will, it will, it will um, fall off. But this has a triple barrier of waterproofing. So even if water was to sit here as a pool and just puddle uh, uh, like a sheer film, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. It doesn't matter whatsoever because it's just so, it's so built up. And this tape has been, um, you know, I've been going through it, making sure that every little piece of air is out of it. So the way you saw the construction, I had the custom made plexiglass. Then I um, obviously cut, I'd, I'd cut out the hole, put the plexiglass on top, used that, I believe it's called Dicor tape, and um, that that adhesive roofing tape never really dries. It stays like a it stays like a putty, right? And um, that that putty um, once clamped down, I had six or eight clamps around the perimeter of it. Once that was clamped down, nice and tight. I then went around and continued the, the riveting style that was there previously and did sort of like two rivets, two rivets, two rivets, all the way around, you know? Now I let it, I let it, I removed the clamps and I let it sit and I examined it and then I tested it for water fasteners. And then um, the rivets themselves, the actual rivet joints on both sides, on this side and on this side, I again protected it with Trempro 635 and that way each rivet was dipped in Trempro before the rivet was, was, um, was put in and the rivets all were again treated with Trempro top and bottom. Then I went in, I don't know if you could see um, in here, but there's white spray paint. I know that needs to be tidied up, but there's white spray paint that I went in there, you see, and I taped it off, and I went in and I did an extensive spray painting of the underside of the pre-weather stripping area. So that way, not only did I have all those precautions, but then also I seal this both sides, and then I added the tape. So I predict that this is more weather friendly, rain friendly, rain, sleet, snow, etc., than the original, and I mean that, than the original lid. Yeah, yeah, that's how, that's, that's how they are. This is, this is how they turn out. They look absolutely tremendous. And from underneath, from underneath, they're gonna look somewhat like this. You see that? Like that. Still stuck, but really, really exceptional in terms of, now you can see outside before you couldn't.